On the build show today, we're talking HVAC duct systems, flex duct, duct board, or sheet metal. What's the difference and why might you use them on your job? Let's get going. Okay, first up, Nacho, tell me about flex duct. What do we need to know? So flex duct is the most common material we've seen in construction. Easiest to run, I'm coming back, stretch them out, mm -hmm. you go wherever you need to go. However, it is a, it comes compacted. Yep. It needs to be stretched completely in order for it to work correctly. Because even if it's just 15% compressed, all these little ridges inside create turbulence. 15% will cut half the airflow. That's a lot. Yeah. Holy cow. So a lot of these uh, builders are doing, you know, massive uh, construction projects. They have companies come in there and just run flex everywhere. And you want to see that flex stretch? You want it stretched and you want to try to avoid just running everywhere, right? And remember when you see it, this is the outer jacket. There's an insulation layer. And then this is actually what's moving your air. Now, a little better than flex in terms of moving air and for smoothness on the inside is this right here. This is called duct board. It comes in big sheets and Nacho and his team use this on the trunk lines on this house. So when you look behind me here, these silver kind of rigid boards, this is what you're seeing. Insulation, a black kind of fibrous layer on the inside. And now this is gonna be much, much smoother to run the ducts. Now, on the other hand, Kimberly, talk to us about rigid sheet metal. Right, so I've got a rigid sheet metal duct here. This is the, you know, the, I was going to say the Cadillac, but that's the name of what, the Tesla? <laughs> the Tesla, the Lamborghini sure. um, of, of uh, duct, duct material. Why you can see it's absolutely smooth on the inside. This means that you're going to get the most from the capacity of your system. Because like Nacho was just showing you, with, um, with flex duct, you have all of these ridges, even when it's pulled completely tight, you've got these little bumps and stuff that are creating turbulence within that airflow which all results in backward pressure, which means you're not getting as much airflow and airflow equates to capacity, which means heating or cooling out of your system. So, so that's one consideration. Another one is just the durability. So we've all been up in attics that are 50, 50 years old. What do they use? They use metal. A lot of times those ducts, they're still there. Now, are they in great shape? Is the insulation in great shape? No but you could re clean them out and reseal them and still use those runs. And we've certainly done that. And this rigid in here means it's really easy to clean. You're not gonna hurt the duct while you're cleaning it too, right? Right, exactly. So if anybody tries to tell you that you can clean like flex duct or the, you duct board, you really can't do that, but you can do that with, uh, with metal duct. Now, what's the downside of this compared to rigid metal, would you say? Okay, well, before I tell you the downside, what I want to do is just praise this, this ductboard installation, because this is, this is the best ductboard installation I've ever seen. Not just it, it, It's amazing. And where you don't need to worry about ductboard insulation is exactly this type of house where you've got all of your ducts within condition space. So you're not going to be pulling in possibly dirty or humid attic air into the duct system. That's right. So the danger you run here is loading this up with moisture and then having it get dirty because that's when you can grow mold and yeah. if you don't mind. That's right. And we have, by the way, we have two dehumidifiers in this house. So we're really making sure that the air in the system is dry in there and the house is kept dried. Not sure, can you give us any uh, understanding of where this house uh, or in general you might be if you're a builder bidding an all flex versus trunk lines made of duckboard versus maybe a rigid metal. Yeah, so of course, you know, the Tesla would be the preferred method. Mm -hmm. A lot of time the budget doesn't allow for that. Yep. So then we would go to duckboard. Yep. And in installation such as this one where we have trunk lines that are carrying most of the air, the air distribution gets sized correctly as we step it down as we go further. And then we have a little bit of flex coming out towards the boots. That just helps with sound attenuation and cutting down on the airflow uh, noise that you would get normally. Definitely. Uh, flex is going to be your least your defense time. You see it everywhere. Um, at about 20% to go into something like this. Yep. Duckboard for the main trunk lines. Exactly. And then you probably double the price on a, on a budget to yeah. sheet metal. Makes sense. And, and that's the overall price of the system, right? Not right. just the Not just the ducts. We're talking about the bid price that I see as a builder could be double 
when we're talking about an all sheet metal type system. Correct. Guys, good stuff. Stay tuned for a future video of these two where we're going to get an even more on this mechanical system. If you're not currently a subscriber, hit that subscribe button below. We've got new content here every Tuesday and every Friday. Follow me on TikTok or Instagram. Otherwise, I'll see you next time. You guys know what to do. On, on the Bill Show! show.